CataractCoach.com. Today we're talking about how do you adjust the position of the silicone sleeve on the FACO tip and on the IA tip. So right now I'm being handed the FACO probe by my technician and there's not enough metal there. So I'm going to advance it by turning the sleeve. I need to have enough metal showing on the tip so that I can embed that within the dense nucleus in order to do this move, my FACO chop. Look how deep the FACO probe is embedded. If I don't have enough of the metal tip showing, I won't be able to embed the FACO probe as deeply into the nucleus and the holding power won't be as great. So for chop, you need to have a good amount of the tip exposed. There you go, and we can continue. Now for irrigation aspiration, the technicians put the sleeve on with a lot of the white polymer tip showing. Now, I can still do the surgery and still do the cortex removal with the IA probe. But the difference is, there's no advantage to having so much of the tip showing. And remember, where's the infusion from the side ports on the silicone sleeve? And now if I try to access the subincisional area, look what happens. I lose infusion. Look, BSS comes out of the eye. That could cause the eye to collapse. That's not good. So let's readjust the tip. That's better. Still, I think a little too much of the tip showing. So we'll adjust it again. That's better. So now we can access the subincisional area and not worry about losing infusion from having the port inflow going outside or within the corneal stroma. We want that infusion from the tip to be going inside the anterior chamber. So it's really important that you adjust the sleeves to your liking. Now, different surgeons have different preferences. If you're doing a chop technique, you're going to want to show more of the FACO tip, the metal tip, during that step of the surgery. If you're doing divide and conquer, you don't need to show as much. You need to just have enough metal showing in order to get your groove made into the nucleus so that you can then divide the nucleus. For irrigation aspiration, I encourage you to have a more conservative setting. There's no advantage to having an aggressive setting like we originally had. So now I can go under the eye well, and the beauty of having those portholes there, the infusion washes directly behind the eye well. And that's why there's an advantage to having this. You could certainly also do by manual irrigation aspiration, and then I don't have to deal with these sleeves for IA anyhow. But a very important topic, and it is personal preference, and these cases show what my preference is. A little more tip showing for the FACO probe, and then very little tip for the IA. Thank you for watching.